With the number of cyber attacks on the rise and millions of Indian businesses using Microsoft 365, there is a huge risk to business operations and future economic performance if data is not backed up and secured appropriately. Cybercrime has many new victims as the number of global internet users increases each year. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. While Microsoft manages the infrastructure for Microsoft 365 users, it does not back up the data. This is down to the business itself. The question is how to protect all Microsoft 365 data. It assures compliance with data retention requirements, mitigates ransomware and malware threats, and eliminates accidental deletion or data corruption. A lack of data protection, side effects of a global pandemic and an increase in exploit sophistication have led to a huge incline in hacked and breached data from sources that are increasingly common in the workplace such as mobile and IoT that is Internet of Things devices. It is an open fact that remote workforces make inroads for cyber attacks. Remote workers will continue to be a target for cyber criminals because of these remote workforces, cloud breaches will increase. Remote work continues to be a focus for many large companies, causing cloud-based ex operations to proliferate, expanding 5G networks connected devices at faster speeds and greater bandwidths. Cryptocurrencies exploded in popularity and are now bought, sold and traded by individuals on a greater scale than ever before. Recent security research suggests that most companies have poor cybersecurity practices in place, making them vulnerable to data loss. To successfully fight against malicious intent, it's imperative that companies make cybersecurity awareness, prevention and security best practices a part of their culture. Secondly, experts listed several reasons for this increase in online traffic, lack of awareness, lack of technical knowledge among police and people, and difficulties in investigating cybercrime cases. With this, the worldwide information security market is growing rapidly. This is due in large part to organizations stepping up their defenses against cyber threats and a rise in such threats, including within their own companies. Unfortunately, most cybersecurity breaches are caused by human error. Considering the skills shortage in cybersecurity, this trend isn't likely to subside anytime soon. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Google partners with Coinbase to roll out crypto payments in cloud services. Google and Coinbase are planning for a strategic partnership, allowing select customers to pay for the cloud services using crypto from next year. By leveraging Google's fiber optic network, Coinbase will use Google Cloud's compute platform to process blockchain data at scale to improve the global reach of its crypto services. Coinbase will also build its global data platform on Google Cloud's infrastructure and leverage their leading data and analytics technologies to provide Coinbase customers with machine learning driven crypto insights. BNP Paribas to acquire Cantox. BNP Paribas has signed an agreement for the acquisition of Cantox, a leading fintech for automation of currency risk management. BNP Paribas will accelerate and extend Cantox's offering to a wide range of corporate clients across the globe by leveraging its integrated business model. The acquisition of Cantox is supported by the global markets business of BNP Paribas's CIB division and the business centers of the commercial, personal and banking services division. The two divisions aim to deploy Cantox technology to large corporate as well as SME and mid-cap clients, capitalizing on market knowledge and local presence of the group. Intel to cut jobs due to slow PC demand. Chipmaker Intel Corp is planning a major pullback in headcounts due to a slowdown in the personal computer market. The layoffs will be announced as early as this month and some of Intel's divisions, including the sales and marketing group, could see cuts affecting about 20% of staff. Decades high inflation and reopening of offices and schools have led people to spend less on PCs than they were did during pandemic-related lockdowns. Adani Networks gets unified license for telecom services in India. Adani Data Networks has received a unified license from the Department of Telecommunications in six circles of Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Mumbai. Now the company is eligible to carry out long-distance calls on its network and also offer internet services. In the 5G Spectrum auctions, Adani Data Networks acquired the right to use 400 MHz of spectrum in the 26 GHz millimeter wave band for Rs 212 crore for 20 years. The license would also help the company with its data center business, 
where data needs to be transferred within the country as well as outside. NPCI partners with Worldline to bring Indian payment services across Europe. Global payment services provider Worldline has joined hands with NPCI International Payments to expand the acceptance of Indian payment across Europe. As part of the partnership, Worldline will bring more convenience for Indian customers in the European markets by allowing merchants' point-of-sale SIM systems to accept payments from UPI as well as Rupay. Currently, the Indian customers pay through international card networks. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.